Hey guys. I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. Okay, okay, okay. Cover my chutsies because no free feet. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <gasps> What's, What's up, up everyone? everyone? Hello. Welcome back. Welcome, Welcome back. back to We All Have Short Hair Now. <laughs> we did it. I couldn't not. And guess what? I don't know if I'll ever have long hair again. So if you're looking for a reason to chop your hair off and you're like, no, do it. It's us. Do it. We can be your reason. Do it. Not your 13th reason. No. <laughs> the <Definitely>. haircut reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We might be some like people's your sixth 13. reason. <laughs> I don't want to be your 13th. No, definitely not. It was amazing, though, because when I went, um, normally some people to chop hair will be like, oh, my God, are you ready? One, two, three. Mm -hmm. And I think she knew that I was just fully ready for it to be off my head. She didn't even tell me she was cutting it. She just went straight for it, swept it up before I could even look at it on the floor. So I didn't know. I probably cut like seven inches off. And I'm like, don't care. Say goodbye. And I said, oh, my God, I feel like I can finally breathe. And I told you this. Mm -hmm. Then she was like, well, you know, like trauma is held in your hair. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, my God, it feels so good to let that bitch go. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the the last couple tough years that I've had, I feel like goodbye. Yeah. Well, and I was telling you that I had this moment in the shower after because Shane cut my hair in the breezeway mm -hmm. <laughs> because I was going to make Sierra do it. I told her no. I was like, I will not be Shane a part is, of this. Well, then I asked my sister because she actually does know how to cut hair. She went to school for that. Yeah. Um, I also went to school for that, but not cosmetology. I was just, but I was at a cosmetology yes, school. Yes, but Shane, he's, uh, a, the haircut required a lot of sectioning and I thought he would be very very particular yes mm -hmm. about the sectioning he is and he was yeah. and he was and it was it was great mm -hmm. why did i tell you that oh oh, oh in the shower yeah. afterwards so after he he cut it i went downstairs to wash my hair before we styled it and as i was washing my hair you guys remember the mist mm -hmm. if you don't know about the mist then you aren't a part of Patreon <laughs> and you didn't watch <laughs> you don't get the two it. girls, one ghost episode crossover. I think it was on their episode. It was on their episode. But yeah. I spoke about this mist that I talked to during EMDR. And in that session, I kept asking to see their face and they would not show me what they looked like. But turns out all they needed was a haircut <gasps> because when I was in the shower, yeah, Wash my hair, and I closed my eyes, and I saw the mist come out from underneath the stairs, Aww. and I was just looking at myself. There is a mirror in my shower. Yeah, but it was like so. Could have been, <laughs> could have been the the literal mirror, but it it felt like no. It feels like therapeutic. Yeah. Almost. Yes, because I, I did. Like, oh, I felt like such a weight was taken off me. Not a oh, literal sure. weight on my head, but just like I feel yeah. lighter now and i don't remember if i said this on the mother's day episode or not but um i think i did where i was saying that uh i my dad had brought over photos mm -hmm. and of me as a little girl and yeah. i always had short hair and so now i just feel like i never actually wanted long hair i just yeah. felt like i needed it to fit some kind of societal beauty standard I and agree. now i'm like eh, that's how i that. feel because when i was talking to her she's like do you want to keep the middle part and i was like i don't know why I think because society says one thing about people like, oh, middle parts are in now. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. Middle parts don't fit my face well. I Get me back to my, to well, my side part. I, I will have, take my millennial side part. I have found that I can do a middle part or I can do a side yeah. part. I can do a lot of different things with this hair that I didn't know that I could do, where before totally. I was very, very limited. Yes, I agree. So, I agree. Any so that's what that is. I yep. do have a story for you. I also have a story for you, but okay. you can go first. I will just tell Unless you. Unless you want to rock, paper, scissor it. Whatever you want to do. You want to scissor it? Sure. <laughs> okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ooh. We both scissored. <laughs> we both scissored. <laughs> we rock, both. paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, 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 oh. rock your word. Rock, it. paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, ah, fuck. Okay. I won, by the way. Paper over rock. Okay. So... I am not cut out to be the mother of a teenage boy is what I, I'm not cut out to be. He's 11. He's almost 12. Okay. Uh -huh. And he's going into middle school. He's almost done with fifth grade. And I am what I, this is all jokes. So don't come at me, please. We'll explain it after. But I just need you to know that like this I is love, not her putting him up for adoption oh God, no. because she but, can't do it anymore. <laughs> it's just I'm not ready for how open my child is with me, which is a beautiful thing. I think that yes. I created that bond with him, but also mm. I, <laughs> my maturity <laughs> levels I'm not, not ready. <laughs> so, well, I'll tell you why. So he goes, 
We're on the way to school this morning. He always. Well, this like, happened today. Today. Okay. It's always just fucking right before I have to do <laughs> some shit. So I'm taking him to school and we're in the car and he's like, I don't know, mom, but I think like the name Candace is kind of inappropriate. You know, like Candace, you know, if you know anything about like if you're around boys in middle school or in fifth grade, you would know Candace is kind of inappropriate. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, you know what, you know. <laughs> I was like, I don't. I don't. And he's like, am I allowed to swear? And I was like, please, if you're going to explain it to me, he's like, it's just the D word. So I'm thinking, damn, right? So I'm yeah. like thinking like, damn this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's like, <laughs> straight as fuck. I am driving. He goes, you know, like, can does a dick fit in your mouth? <laughs> And I fucking almost wrecked my car. I thought I was going to drive into a fucking tree. I was like, ah! What did you just fucking say? And because my child is so, so, so sweet and innocent, he has no idea what that means. He just knows there's a bad word in it. So he's not allowed to say it. He's like, yeah, that's what the boys say when they hear the name. And I was like, oh my God! Oh, no, Which again, no, no. I know I've been around. I've been in middle school myself. I've been around. Did you give him some other ones to say? No. <laughs> You're like you tell them that the real inappropriate word is found in the book "Tracks in the Sand" by Dick Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> by Peter Dragon. Peter Dragon. <laughs> and sliding down the pole by Dick Burns. <laughs> Under the Bleachers by Seymour Butts. I couldn't. I couldn't. I That's was like, what we were saying. We That's weren't what I mean. saying like, can this dick, dick fit in your mouth? <laughs> I was like, ah. What the the answer's fuck? no. <laughs> but again, he didn't know. And I was like, hey, if you have any questions, though, you know, you let me know. <laughs> then I got home to Corey and I was like, I can't do this. I'm trying so hard <laughs> to be the mom who's like, I'd rather you hear it from me because I know you're going to hear it from school. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm trying. But also then it happens and he's so comfortable coming to me with things. And so many people have told me like, that's amazing. I'm like, is it? You could not <laughs> have been prepared for that. Was there was like, no way to prepare for that. I literally audibly went, ah! <laughs> I was not even sure where that was going. Me neither. I knew when you said the D word and we were thinking damn that it wasn't going to be damn. But I was like, how are we fitting mm -hmm. well, Candace and Dick together? Candace Dick fit somewhere. Mm. Candace Dick fit in this sentence? Yeah. Turns out turns it can. Turns out it can. So I, anyways, I'm sorry to all the Candaces. And please don't yell at me for my child. He just is. He's. I'm glad that he feels like I'm a place where he can come to me and be like, What's this about? <laughs> because yeah. he's hearing it. And that's the other thing I want to say to you. This is why I've always said I don't censor myself around my kids because they're going to hear it eventually. Yeah. And I'd rather them not be like, what the, f what, what does that even mean? Yeah, God forbid he ever meets a Ben Dover <laughs> or a Mike Hunt <laughs> or a Nita Bath. <laughs> So anyways, that was my story because I almost had an Harry attack. Butt. Harry Butt. Harry <laughs> Butt. Anyway, uh, my story mm -hmm. takes place yesterday. Um, first, Ollie had his preschool graduation. Mm -hmm. My sister is on her way. However, she's not there yet. Yes. And we're cleaning up. Shane was cleaning up something in the backyard. I am taking something out to the recycling. Forrest decides he wants to join us out front, opens the door, and I look at him, and he goes, Birdie. And I'm oh. like, did Birdie get out? And he goes, yeah. I, when I tell you, I sprinted for like a mile uh -huh. trying to get this fucking dog uh -huh. that just kept finding rabbits and taking off after it. Oh my God. The only reason I knew where she was, because I'm running around in backyards, yeah. okay? And we live in a red state. There, at any point, oh, I could have been shot. Truly. Okay? No, that's not even a joke, for real. So the only way I knew where she was is because when she would take off after a rabbit, this is the sound she made. God, which no. also sounds like she's been hit by a car yes. and I can't see her. So I don't know which is which I then I'm looking down the rows of houses and I see her in this one backyard and I start to approach her. Mind you, I have a, a box full of treats and I'm yes. like, here, birdie, birdie, bird found out they're the milk bones that Mosby likes. Mm. Birdie doesn't give a fuck mm. about them. Mm -hmm. That's what I learned. Mm -hmm. I get close to her right. and she's sniffing nose to the ground going around and I look and there's a cat. <gasps> and this cat looks at me and it tells me 
if your dog gets anywhere near me, I will fuck it up. And cats usually can. I am from the streets yep. and I do not care. Yep. And I was like, I understand. <laughs> I will try and get her away from you. <laughs> you I, hear, I hear you. So I tried to like sprint dive at her and I missed, but the cat did take that as an opportunity to, to escape, to flee. <laughs> so eventually I just decide this dog isn't my problem anymore. And I start walking home <laughs> after I have been, I, I've probably done like several laps, some of them, which I'm sprinting because we do live near a busy street yeah, and do. she kept heading that way. Yeah. Also, I don't have a bra on. So mm -hmm. as I'm sprinting, I can hear the sound of my boobs hitting my skin. <laughs> Slapping. <laughs> yes. yes. So then I see Shane <laughs> driving in the car with the kids and his flashers are on. I'm like, tag, you're it. You get out of the car. <laughs> yeah. You go find this dog. He catches her. Great. It's kind of like the pickle jar situation, like when you're trying to get the, the jar open and it doesn't work, so you hand it to uh -huh. someone and they pop and it right off. And you're like, great. I fucking loosened that for you. Yeah. I, I wore her down. Yeah. Okay. She, she was tired by the time Shane got to her. So I thought, this is the worst it can get today. And I wish. <laughs> I wish. Okay. Good. So then we, Randy does get there, whatever. We uh, go to Ollie's graduation and afterwards we're like, let's go celebrate. What an exciting time for you, bud. And we decide we're going to go to the park for lunch. Mm -hmm. Guess what? They're not open. Yep. Nope. And so then we decide. Memorial Day, right? When they start. Well, I think they open this weekend. Oh, okay. But like the, the concession stand's open right now. <gasps> really? It, not during lunch, though. I'll Apparently, tell you that. Turns out. So we decide we're going to go to this place called Softies in the mm. town next to us because it's very similar food and we can get ice cream. Yes. We get there. We get out of the car. We're standing waiting to order. There's a couple people standing around, and every time they see Forrest, they're like, oh my God, that red hair, he's so cute. He looks at the lady who just says that to him, and he vomits oh! all over the ground. No. And I'm standing there, like, ah, ah. We are in front of this, like, walk up eatery. Yeah. And he just, puked like right in front of the car <laughs> and so i take a full water bottle and i dump it trying to just sure. like disperse it disperse it but we're on a slight hill and so uh -huh. the lady who just said his hair was cute is standing <laughs> downstream and so i i'm like putting my foot in front of it trying to just like kick kick the water oh, away from no. her but now i'm like i definitely have puke on my foot so we went home after that. <laughs> we didn't even get to get to play. You know, I will say one thing I'm very thankful for is Sawyer has not had a big kid puke yet. Mm. And I am fucking thankful for mm. that. Yeah. She, she, that girl must have like a rock for a stomach. Cause mm. she doesn't, she's eaten things or, and then been shaken up. And I'm like, surely <laughs> this is going to happen. She's Forrest, been sick. Nothing. Forrest, I think it was more like car sickness. Oh, although totally. he did have a little bit of a fever. Yeah. And he had thrown up the night before. So I'm like, I don't know what your problem is, but we're going to go home and watch <laughs> TV. <that> <laughs> yeah. God. So that was my story for you from well, yesterday. Yeah. I'm glad we both have kids that are unhinged as fuck. <laughs> Definitely. I'm sweating. Are you? Yes. Take your shirt off. <laughs> I just sit here. I have a, I have a backless sticky bra. sticky bra on. So just be very weird, <laughs> a, a very weird boob situation. Um, but guess what? Sierra and I have our drinkies here. Yay! Cheers. I went and got them. Thank you. I've got my cut water here. So Tequila Jerry is present, everyone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And She's I have present. the Ryan Guy's Truth IPA, which is my fucking favorite. It reminds me every time of when me and Corey would, when we first started dating, we would go and get the truth from a gas station mm. near us because that's where I always find the truth. <laughs> yeah, same. And then if I'm looking for the drunk. truth in my life, I go to the gas station. <laughs> Dude, do you ever, I mean, I know it's been a while for you and Shane, but like, do you ever think back to the early days in your relationship and there's like a bit of it you miss? Like we just used to get sloppy and do it. <laughs> it was so The beginning fun. of our relationship, he was a thousand miles away. Oh, that's right. Yours was dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me and Corey's was very like, we were infatuated and like up each other's ass to the yeah. point where it like now I'm like too much but back then no. it was cute so Shane sometimes I think about it and like fantasize moved about to it. Florida and I only saw him every three months That's and then like when he moved home he was in Pennsylvania <laughs> and so we only saw each other every other weekend like yeah. when we drove to Pennsylvania for his sister's wedding last weekend we were we drove the way that we would drive to visit each other and right. that was nostalgic but like that was a road right <laughs> it wasn't right. getting sloppy drunk and having sex god i missed it yeah 
Anyway. That's what this tastes like. Oh. Sex with my, with my fiance. Hell yeah. That's what I'm saying. Hell yeah. Anyways, how's everyone doing? I'm, I'm not well. I mean, I am, but I'm not. Just because life is crazy. I'm about to move finally. I'm going to get the house. Woo! But also then I'm like, I have to move. So that's mm, scary. Mm-hmm. But also... Um, speaking of ho things, we're gonna tell some ho stories today. That's what we're doing for you. We're on ho shit You're today. Welcome. <laughs> but we're on our ho shit. And guess what? 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 I got Sierra to watch the Vanderpump Rules finale. I, so I was just leaning into talking about that because we were. Yes. I was gonna segue. Go into scandals and scandaly things. Yes. Scandable piece of shit. Yes. Sorry, I'll say it. I don't even care. Anyways, I don't know anything about Vanderpump Rules. I've literally never watched anything, but I watched the whole reunion with you and your sister mm-hmm. and I was hooked. Like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I was living for every moment. Lala and James together. I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ariana, bad bitch. Yeah. And what, Katie? Is yes. that the other one? She was also giving it too. I was just like mm-hmm. here for ripping them a new mm-hmm. one. It's so good. It is. It's so it good. Is. And we've found our new favorite diss from the show. Uh, and it's spooky. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it's. Okay. If you hear Katie, um, ref- I don't know anything about Joe. If you don't know Vanderpump Rules, it doesn't matter. Yeah. There's a person named Joe that Katie called Spooky. I don't know anything about Joe. I can't co-sign the spookiness of Joe. I just think that's a but really funny fucking thing to say. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be like, she's spooky. Yes. I want to call like establishments spooky, yeah. like brands. Yeah. Not brands that want to work with us. No, of course, of course not. <laughs> The ones we've turned down, probably. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay. Anyway, sorry if you hear if you hear things. By the Drilling. way, too, I can hear. It sounds like sawing almost. They're no. they're renovating above us, and we can't I don't, fucking do anything. About I don't it. think they'll be able to hear too too much. Good. Um. So, uh, I did tell them that we were recording today. So I hopefully. <laughs> They fucking quit. I yeah. think maybe they're like, they, surely they won't hear us because we're sawing. And I'm like, I can hear so much of that. I know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ho stories. I just want you to know that this might be one of my favorite email submissions I, we've ever had. Sorry to everybody that sent them in. You'll see why in a minute. I, when I was reading it. Was Is this the one you were reading here? That I was laughing out loud every Yes. Two, yeah. I kept looking at her and I'm like, don't you fucking say anything. I couldn't. Don't I tell was me like, a don't, word. I won't. I won't say anything. Here we go. The subject line says anal in the moonlight. <laughs> Did you hear so my you throat? <laughs> no. Anal in the moonlight. <laughs> so here we go. You ready? Okay. Also, we're going to be telling host stories. If so you're not here moons. for that, goodbye. See you next week. But uh, if See you next like, Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. But if you, if you stay and you're not for it, I don't give a fuck. That was on you. Don't tell me. About it. <laughs> don't yeah. send us an email. Okay, here we go. <laughs> my name is Claire. She, her. Feel free to shout my name from the rooftop because I'm proud of my and my butthole's accomplishments. <laughs> Yay, Claire. Yes. Yes. Snaps for Claire. <laughs> Allow me to set the scene. A beautiful Swedish man, a police chase, a moonlit beach, a penis in my butt. (laughs) Let me start off by saying I grew up in an insanely strict and conservative religious household. That's how we hear a lot. That really is how a lot of these start out. (laughs) That checks out. So the moment I graduated high school and went to college, I knew I was going to get a little wild. You know, try all the things I didn't get to try growing up or even knew existed. Like anal? (laughs) Well, (laughs) during my first class on the first day of college, I sat next to a beautiful tall guy with dirty blonde hair and dreamy blue eyes. Maybe God does exist after all because, dear Lord, he looked like he was chiseled by angels. We got to chit-chatting and I found out he was a foreign exchange student from Sweden. And we exchanged numbers after class so we could study together. Mm, Quote, mm -hmm. study. Study anatomy. (laughs) Ha ha. Ah, right, study. <laughs> is it is it anatomy? What does it say? Doesn't say what class. Doesn't anatomy matter. is just the the the, the yeah, human because, body because you know vaginas. <laughs> yeah, and, and dicks and ass. <laughs> and dicks, vaginas and dicks and ass and yeah. such. <laughs> Later that night, he texted me, inviting me to a party, and I jumped at the opportunity. He sent me the location, and when I approached the house, I found him and his friends standing in a circle under a street lamp drinking beer. My sexy Swedish sirloin. That was good for you, by the way, for putting that in there, because I thought I was going to have a hard time. That was a lot that for me to That is some say. sexy alliteration. Right? 
wrapped his arm around me and offered me a beer. Wow, my first beer, my first date, my first party. This night couldn't possibly get any more exciting, right? First? <laughs> Remember? Crazy, strict, religious, conservative First household. beer. Uh-huh. First party. Uh-huh. First date. Uh-huh. First dick in her ass. <laughs> So. Is my dick in her ass? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I had only taken one sip of beer when we all jumped at a sudden authoritative, hey, shouted down the street. We all turned around to see three cops speed walking in our direction. Speed walking. <laughs> you know They're all they just do. on segways. <laughs> 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 Now, I was as naive as they come. I had no idea that drinking in public was illegal or that my college town always had multiple groups of cops surveying the streets at night to break up shenanigans. Oh, and I was under the drinking age, so I stood there dumbly until the whole group I was standing with suddenly scattered and my knight in Swedish armors <laughs> exclaimed, oh shit, and grabbed my hand. <laughs> We all sprinted in different directions with the cops splitting up to try to catch us. One cop chased after Swedish daddy and me as we <laughs> ran behind apartment complexes, through alleyways and backyards, and finally hopped a fence where we hid against the side of a house. We were panting. By the way, the way this is written really pulls me in. Okay? Yeah. We were panting and pumped full of adrenaline. Panting we and pumped. Yes. I oh. Love it. We looked at each other, breathing heavily, and at the same time, we grabbed each other and started making out. He pushed me up against the side of the house, and things got really hot and heavy really fast as I grabbed his hard pee pee while he sucked my <laughs> boobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I, at first i was like panting and pumping is that what she said mm -hmm. it sounds like a porno at a gym yeah and then grabbed his hard pee pee and sucked my boobs <laughs> <laughs> sounds like it was written by <laughs> that's what i love about this it really feels like it was made for me because i was like yes, yes with the with the like literary yeah yeah and then also but pee pee and booze <laughs> <laughs> what I need. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. We were ready to consummate this police chase sexy time before God's very eyes when we suddenly heard another, much quieter, hey, that sounded like it came from right beside me. <laughs> we both jumped out of our skin, thinking the cop had found us, but we turned around to see some frat dude looking out the window from inside the house. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, I said, so embarrassed and immediately pulling my clothes back into place. That's okay. You don't have to stop. <laughs> the creepy house guy responded. Oh, fuck no. Ew. <laughs> Needless to say, we left. Quickly, sir, scur <laughs> That's the part that you stumbled on? <laughs> fuck, I was doing so good. <laughs> you really were. But I felt a burp in my throat, and <laughs> immediately my intrusive thoughts was like, I'm going to fucking throw up all over this mic. Oh That's God, what I was, I was so scared that it was going to. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> That's just You're what panting my and pumping, and you <laughs> might puke. <laughs> my fucking throw up. I have to take a breath. I know, I f we're being chased. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, we left, quickly scurrying through the lit part of the street and sneaking in the shadows to avoid any lingering cops as we made our way down to the beach a couple blocks down. It was around 1 a.m. at this point, so the beach was deserted, and we decided to finish what we started. But since I was an innocent, holy, supple little Christian virgin that feared the wrath of Sky Daddy, I told Swedish ministers... <laughs> Fuck you for this. Swedish Mission Impossible to put it in the hole Jesus can't see. <laughs> yep, my dookie hole. <laughs> I told you this is good. Okay. I have never seen a man look happier. <laughs> there I was, getting fucked in the ass pussy. <laughs> Not the SSC. <laughs> a full moon shining down on us from above with the ocean waves crashing just a few feet away. These were the kinds of moments world travelers and poets and philosophers sought and never found. But I found it. It was in my butthole all along. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess we just as good the second time. Oh, God. We finished up and we split ways. The next night, he texted me because he wanted another ride on my Hershey Highway. <laughs> All right, I should have waited till you swallowed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Listen. <laughs> as soon as I took that sip, I was like, this is a bad time yep. to do that. <laughs> this is a bad time to do that for sure. <laughs> you wanted 
Oh my god! Another ride on my Hershey Highway, <laughs> and I let him know if he wanted more, he'd have to come to my dorm because a I didn't have a car, and b <laughs> and b his housing was a mile and a half off off campus, and I wasn't about to walk that far at night, not even for a tall, beautiful Swedish man. Ten minutes fucking later, I hear a knock and open my door to find him panting and drenched in sweat in the hallway. He I, ran. I opened my mouth to speak, but before I could say a word. He said, yeah, I ran. (laughs) Hot. Having a hot dude sprint over a mile motivated by the memory of my sweet butthole is the (laughs) best boost to my ego I've ever received. And you better believe I let him plunge my hole to his heart's content. (laughs) Wait, the butt again? Because Sky Daddy is still... She's still a virgin, of course. (laughs) Of course. Of course. (laughs) That was the first of many slutty encounters I had in college, but I figured you would enjoy this story in particular. My butthole and I love you both so much, and if I end up hearing the story read out loud on your podcast, I will actually lose my mind, (laughs) because I swear as I write this, I can already picture your guys' reactions. (laughs) Did we live up to them? Because I feel like this isn't even... She saw me cackling at this silently as I was reading it while we were in the office, and I was like, I want to tell you so fucking bad what this says, but I can't. I want to know, Claire, did you save yourself for marriage? (laughs) Did you (laughs) you save out the (laughs) SSE? Yeah. Um, thank you for everything you do. It's changed my life more than I can ever put into words and more than a man can ever put into my butt. (laughs) (laughs) From Claire. (laughs) Here's a question. Oh, fuck. Here's a question from an ass virgin. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay. Are you an ass? You're not an ass. Surely not. (laughs) Surely not. Sorry, parents, if you're watching. So so I am an ass virgin. Mm -hmm. Jesus can see that hole and I'm saving it for him. (laughs) Got you back. Okay. Uh, God damn it. Can you only do anal from behind or can you do anal? You can do anal from the front? Well, yeah, you, all all positions. <laughs> think about think about where your butthole is um, <laughs> as the other hole. Like it's all very close. Actually, a lot of people I heard don't like the the doggy style for the best. Really? That's what so I hear. Do, so don't yell at me. You can do like missionary. Anal? Oh yeah, and on top. That's Isn't that what missionary is? Well, girl. <gasps> oh on no, top, you. I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, riding cowboy. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of it. them. Think about it. They're very close. They are very close. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, you can do it all. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. You guys hear that? You hear that, virgin? <laughs> <laughs> Don't limit yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You can have all the fun you want right in that stink hole. <laughs> <laughs> because Jesus can't see it. <laughs> oh, good fucking That's his stuff. blind blind spot. Blind spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's another one. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. This one says, oh, this is a short one. It says, Instagram nudes, embarrassing story slash host story. Okay, ready? Uh Uh-huh. I just think this is funny because it's something I would have fucking done. Hello, my name is Tori, she, her, and I have a quick embarrassing story. First, I want to say how much I love you both. I'm 28 and I had my first baby, Lainey May. Oh, that's really cute. We were going to think about Lainey for the name for soybeans, but. On Mario Kart Erica just had uh, another baby and her name's Elaine. I know. I love that. Elaine? No, Lane. Oh, I love that. Minus the E. Yes. Um, on 421-2022, I had severe postpartum depression, but you both helped me through it. I love Aww. how open you are about mental health. For most of 2022, I skipped all of the emotional episodes and stuck to the funny ones because I was afraid my depression would worsen. I'm now listening to all the mental health episodes and it makes me so thankful for oh, you guys. Oh, good. So good. Okay, so on to the embarrassing story slash host story. It's a short but funny one. When Instagram first came out sometime in 2010 to 2011, remember? I was pregnant with Noah. I remember it vividly. I was in high school. I thought that Instagram was only an editing photo site. Boy, was I wrong. I took a picture of my jugs with my face included, by the way, (laughs) and added it to Instagram to put a cool filter on it. Oh, no. Little did I know that it was not just an editing site. I deleted it as soon as I found out, but at least a week went by before. Oh my god, a week? A week. A week? Full t- 
tits out on, on Instagram. Underage tits. Yep. Oh, God. Love you guys so much, Tori. Oh, my God. That's, <laughs> that's it. it. Holy shit, Tori. I just really like that. Holy story. tits, so Batman. Like- <laughs> oh, what an innocent little mistake. I know, that right? That cost you the presidency. Truth. Now you can never be president. <laughs> Truly. Your face was in there. Are you excited for this next one? Because let me tell Love, you what. I'm so sorry. I just keep thinking that the point was I want a cool filter on my tits. I know. <laughs> I, Dude, I've been I want to see these tits with a cool filter on them. I'm, I've done some. I've done that with Instagram. And then I just screenshot that, crop it out, boom, send the picture. I don't actually post. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Do you still? No, I don't send nudes anymore. I don't even take there. nudes. <laughs> yeah. Literally, I'm just like, check out this titty. <laughs> I literally sleep. never sleep send him nudes. He's like, please don't. You've already had your phone hacked and they've been on the internet. Like, don't do that mm-hmm. again. And I was mm-hmm. like, okay, I won't. You're right. You're right. Okay. This one is, says, the, the subject line is, T County Ho, does, who, do, who does your dishes after? <laughs> I know. Hi, ladies. I have so many stories, but this one was my introduction into what is to be a what it is to be a hoen in the small redneck simulation we call home. T County. <laughs> Surprise. This is a local home Very story. local. And local. I, don't, I don't know this person. At least. Homegrown. Yeah. The name that's on the email. Um, but I was confused because remember I told you I had a one night stand before with somebody who. Well, it wasn't a one night stand. We were talking for a while. But anyways, he ended up doing my dishes for me. So I was like, is it the same guy? It's not though. We'll find out. Okay, wow. there was this guy, his name was Earl, and you can use it because knowing how awful his name is makes the story better. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> Earl. Earl. Right. I was very into him because he was a, quote, older guy who was Ew, interested. Of course he was. Uh-huh, who was interested in little old me, so I was down for whatever. Uh-huh. If he's older and his name's Earl, he's immediately a no. Oh, really? Because that's not even the worst part, and I'll tell you It's why. not the worst? It's not. Our hookups usually consisted of him picking me up, us parking somewhere, doing the deed, even though I didn't get anything out of it, if you know what I mean. And then him saying, well, good job, friend, before dropping me back off at home. This, that could not be a more this fucking place that we live That could not be a more Earl <laughs> thing to do. Truly. Okay, ready? That gives big Earl energy. Mm-hmm. One lucky day, he decided I could come over to his house. His family was home. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. What What do you mean family? <laughs> yeah, you're right. He lives with his parents. Okay, I wasn't sure if you meant like this no, no, is no. a sister-wife <laughs> situation. He's like, I'd like you to meet. His wife and kids. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay, We'd like ready? you to come and, and join our mom you. No, so not only is he older, his name is Earl, and he he's also lives with his parents. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Sounds his family was home, so we T did County. the normal, is <laughs> truly, interaction. Like, this is not even, I've had this fucking shit happen to me before here. It's not even that crazy. Um, normal interaction of hellos before he rushed me up to his room. That's also so awkward to me. Like, his parents knew what the fuck was going down. Oh my yeah. god, mom! I gotta fuck! <laughs> We laid in his bedroom that he shared with his little brother Ew. watching TV until he decided it was time. Uh, I asked if he was sure it was safe with his parents' home, and he assured me the door was locked. And his parents- Don't worry. They don't come and bother me up here. They're basically <laughs> my roommates. This is my house. He said his parents don't even go upstairs. So there we are. My parents hate stairs. <laughs> they can't walk up them. Yeah. It's a big thing. Don't say it in front of my mom. She's embarrassed about that. <laughs> So anyways, okay. We'll definitely hear the motorized chair coming up. (laughs) My dad's got a weak ankle. He thumps on every step. (laughs) So there we are, me on my side, completely naked with him behind me, a blanket over us, cuddle fucking, when all of a sudden his dad opens the door. He yanked the blanket from me to cover himself up. (laughs) leaving me all out and open while his dad just stood there and didn't move, just staring in shock. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh-huh. Where's your dick, Earl? <laughs> hey, Earl. Hey, Earl, where's your dick? Where's your dick? Did you just take the blanket off of her while your dick's still inside of her? What's happening? You looking like a couple of Legos right now, Earl? What are you doing? Well, I'm upset. Me fucking too. Uh, so his dad's staring, staring in shock. After what felt like ages, but was probably 20 seconds, he shut the door and knocked. 
<laughs> Earl proceeded to oh, yell. After? <laughs> Earl proceeded to yell. There's no point in knocking now. To which his dad <laughs> opened the door again and said, your mom and I are leaving. If you don't do the dishes, you're grounded. <laughs> and shut the door. Oh, my God. Earl, how old are you I that you're getting grounded? I need to know. Person who wrote this in, can you send us how old Earl was, please? Oh, my God. Um, I scattered. As soon as you're done cuddle fucking, you need to do the dishes. dishes. They need to be done. I scattered to get my clothing mortified and shaking while we heard the door shut and the car pull away. This is when Earl looks right at me and says, well, no reason we can't keep going now. And I told him I was done for the day and going home. He there's, said he- about, there's about 12 <laughs> reasons in the sink downstairs as to why we're not going to keep going. And one in the car leaving. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. There is... <laughs> Two in the car and three in the stink, if you know what I mean. (laughs) Sink, not stink. (laughs) I was just really focused on the stink. (laughs) The car and three in the stink. (laughs) That's good. Um, He said he understood, but while giving me a hug to leave, he said, there are so many dishes and no way I'll get them all done before they get home. This sucks. You're fucking, you're fucking kidding. The people pleaser in me was like, no, you didn't. No worries. I'll help real quick before I leave. <laughs> you better you better get fucked over the sink. <laughs> you better get fucked over the sink. So they already established this was not even good sex to begin with. They've never finished. So like, why are we there? Why do we do this stuff when we were young and just trying to impress men who live with their parents Our named and still Earl. get grounded for not doing the dishes? Like, come on. Do we have any <laughs> The only saving grace to me, if your name is Earl, is if you're also gay. Yeah, I agree. If I you're agree. gay and named with a mustache, Earl, oh my god, I, I think you're the coolest you. person I in the entire love world. You. I agree with that. If you're straight and from this county, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Out of here, Earl. <laughs> All right. Um, as we finished, so downstairs we go to do. Oh my the god! Dishes. Imagine you're the bartender and Earl's the regular, <laughs> and you're like, "Don't go home with him. He's going to make you do his dishes." <laughs> His mommy's going to walk in on no daddy. He's going to get grounded if you don't help him do the dishes. As we were finishing up, here comes his mom and dad back into the house. They acted like nothing happened and asked me to stay for dinner, which I, of course, said no thank you and got the fuck out. To this day, about 10-ish years later, his dad still says hi to me every time I see them. Gotta love being a hoe in a small town. (laughs) That's a nightmare. That I just ran into my ex and his mom, by the way, outside of our studio. Like, remember? Yes. What, three days ago? You ran into my ex's sister. I did. I run into our ex's family members all the time. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> She's cool, though. Both of them were cool. Taylor even told me, it was like, because I said, I was trying not to be weird, but I totally almost gave your mom a hug. And he was like, you should have done it. She would have loved it. <laughs> She's so cool. If I saw my ex's family except for his dad because his dad's always scared me Mm -hmm. but mom and sister i would i would hug both of them Mm -hmm. i saw them once in marshall's um but yeah you saw you saw her at a restaurant yes i did yeah you know who you are shout out she came up to me because she listens to the podcast and i was like so sorry that we talked (laughs) about shit a little bit and she was like no it's cool i get get it actually (laughs) so sorry so that was cool Yeah. Okay, this one's a good one. Ready? This is called Apple Watch Gets Freaky Deaky. Hey, ladies. So I have a little horror story for you. These are such intriguing, like... This is why I picked... Titles. I know. Well done. If you want me to read your stories, I get hundreds in this email, okay? How do you... Yeah, how how are you going to skip over Apple Watch Gets Freaky Deaky? If you... Give me a good something to snag my attention, but also put in host story or something because... Yeah. Or if you want to... Oh, that's what I was going to say before. We are still uh, selling tickets for the Pittsburgh and Live or the Pittsburgh and the Buffalo live shows that yeah. we're doing June 28th, June 29th, and we're going to be doing scandals. Obviously, if I don't get enough submissions, I'm going to just pick from old scandals that we have in emails and such. But um, I would also really like to have submissions from people who are either potentially going right. to be there or just if you want it told at a live show or if you're send them to me local to those places totally let's hear it we want all the scandals if you want host stories if you want poop stories literally i will take you weren't any pussy you weren't any ass you weren't any <laughs> i can give you anything get out of <laughs> <laughs> all right so ready i like it, daddy. 
Hey, ladies, so I have a little horror story for you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be honest, it's less ho and more embarrassing hookup story, but that's semantics. So I, she, her, started dating a new guy, he, him. After a month of being together, we had done the deed a few times. Mm. But one time, we were getting into it doggy style, and I said, oh, my God. Wouldn't normally think anything of it until someone responded, and it wasn't my boyfriend. (laughs) My fucking Apple Watch... (laughs) In his hot Australian accent, replied with, Oh, you're telling me. <laughs> Can you imagine? Wait a minute. The Apple Watch started talking back while they were having said, sex? Oi, you're telling me. When she said, Oh my God. <laughs> Oi, you're telling me. There you go. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Cue embarrassing laughter from both of us because what in the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, I hope my FBI agent had as much fun as we did, but lesson learned, always take off your Apple Watch before sexy time. Love you, ladies, and hope this story makes you laugh as much as we did. I will tell you a story from someone who, I don't know, I'm not saying any names. Maybe it's somebody to know, maybe it's not, but while they were doing the deed, did they get like one an of award? them had an Apple Watch, no, but they said, oh my God, and the Apple Watch said, calling mom, <laughs> and they... <laughs> We're like, no! Oh my god! <laughs> or maybe it wasn't an Apple Watch, and it was Siri. Something said. Something did. Calling mom. Oh my god! Imagine though, you are wearing an Apple Watch, and then all of a sudden, it's like, do do do, achievement unlocked. <laughs> Exercising for thirty minutes. Well, I will tell you another someone I know who lives in my house with me <laughs> was like, okay. oh, I hit my steps <laughs> during. Uh-huh. Yep. What? Yep. During? Yep. <laughs> oh my Because there was a lot of, a lot of motion in know. the ocean. I got it. I got it. Um. Anyways, let me tell you a little something about. This was actually a story I wanted to tell you before, and I forgot. Okay. I think I think I have broken the simulation. <gasps> I oh. think that I have witnessed multiple glitches <gasps> recently. Okay. Oh my god! I think I did too. <gasps> so the, I want to tell you. This is one Sierra knows about. So I look out my window and I see this truck and it is stopped, like not in front of my house, but not at a stop sign. No, you and have it's not a stop pulled sign over. At, like near your house, but it was the, going the wrong way, right? Like the Yeah, other so way. there's like, there's a two-way stop in front of my house. Yeah. But like the way this truck was going was not a part of the stop. The stop like sign. they didn't have a stop sign, no. but it was stopped and it wasn't pulled over. And it was just like putts in. And I was like, what is what the fuck is happening with that uh-huh. truck? And then after it, just an incredibly long amount of time, the truck speeds off. And I'm like, that's weird. And so I get in my car and I go to the office because I'm picking up something. And as I'm like passing the library, which is like kind of on the way here, there's a man outside just fucking breaking it down. He's break dancing. Break dance. He's break dancing and jeans and a wife beater. And he's got long hair and he's got headphones in. And he's just like... On the, just cutting it up okay on the sidewalk on the sidewalk i have no idea and i drove by three times because i'm like this is not <laughs> actually real happening. okay um that's not a normal thing that you would absolutely maybe in some not places but like you don't really see people on the sidewalks anyways around here especially not pop lock and pop <laughs> pop and lock in it he never dropped as far as i saw but definitely pop and lock yeah um and so then the other day I have been riding my bike to work because it's been nice out. Mm-hmm. Randy was taking the boys on a bike ride, mm-hmm. okay? So they are on their way back, and they're coming from a direction that I wouldn't actually normally take my bike, but I wanted to say hi to them, so I started biking that way. And I I pulled to the side to talk to them, to say, like, I love you, I'm going to work, bye. And my kids are looking at me like they've never seen me before <gasps> in their life. What? To the point where Ollie then says, are you our mom? What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I was like, yes. Oh, yes, I that would have freaked me the fuck out. Yeah. <gasps> so then I'm like, what the fuck is up with that? So I have my headphones in and I say, hey, Siri, call my husband. And she goes, I'm sorry. I don't have in here that you have a husband. <gasps> and I'm like, what 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 the fuck and she's like what's your husband's name and i said shane steinmetz and i was like do you want me to remember that shane steinmetz is your husband i'm like i'd like someone to remember (laughs) remember me okay (laughs) oh that's horrifying yes 
Oh my God, that's so scary. Yes. So I call him, I tell him the story and then I go home and the same, there was a similar fucking thing that happened with another car at that same spot by my house. Yeah. So I think it's like a vortex or something. I don't know. Well, there was a weird, so there, we, me and the, my two children and Corey like to go on walks and we'll take Teddy sometimes because he's a little bit bigger than the other two dogs we have. Mm -hmm. So he loves a walk. The other two are not really into walks, but Teddy yeah. loves a walk. So we take him on, because we'll go on like two, three mile long walks and he likes the long walk. Yeah. As we're going on the other side of a street. Now, Teddy just got groomed. If you're part of the Patreon, Teddy, we picked him up after his grooming and he was on the couch. Grooming. So he, <laughs> after his grooming. So if you watched, you could see Teddy fully groomed and yeah. see the, po the poodle-ness. <laughs> he yeah. looks full poodle. But he's all black and it, it's very like... I don't see a lot of dogs that look like him no, around here, no. especially not after that haircut. Okay. No. So we're walking and then we look across the street. There's a guy that looks like Corey and Corey's the one holding Teddy. I've got the baby carriage. Walking a dog that looks exactly like Teddy. Ha Teddy, when he got groomed, he got a little bow tie. It was fucking adorable. The dog has like a collar on that either has a bow tie on it or has something that's white that's right there like the sticking fuck? out. And that we look at each other and the guy goes, oh, they could be they could be brother and sister or something like that. Or they could be brothers, I think yeah. he said. And I was like, so could you two? Because what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> they looked similar. And I, I looked at Corey and I was like, what Turns the out it's Corey's twin, Zach. <laughs> Well, that's what I was like. You and already that's have. When we found out he's a triplet, <laughs> and he loves poodles. <laughs> they all love poodles. But I was like, you already have somebody who looks like you in this town. Enough for yeah. people. And this guy looks similar to you, and he has our exact dog that I don't see a lot of dogs looking like Teddy. Mm -mm. It was fucking weird. I'm like, and he was walking exactly like us, but opposite ways that we would like. Oh, dude, it was yeah. fucking bizarre. I'm like, ah, what the fuck? I just said to Sierra the other day that like I keep thinking that. I'm in some kind of an alternate reality. Mm -hmm. And during this conversation that I'm having with her where I'm like, I just have a feeling that shortly that someone's going to sit me down and be like, Jerry, you have to stop. Yeah. Sierra died <gasps> when you were three. Oh, my God. Yeah. And I was like, I did. <laughs> it's not healthy for you to keep thinking that you have this show with her you're not famous <laughs> calm down like you have to you have to grieve in a healthier way yeah. and as i'm telling sierra this we look over and oh there's a cat God. on a roof not just on a roof on the fucking like chimney part well we watched it climb oh, yeah. up that part yeah we watched it scale the second story of a house and oh. sit on top of a chimney also then while we're staring at the house we're like what the Fuck, this is like we look down and there's just a naked child staring at us and i was like oh my god what the fuck is happening it wasn't either of so, our children either i was just like what the fuck is going on here if you could um yeah, it was kind of scary i don't know uh validate our reality shortly that would be great that i don't would be great. i will i won't trust you or believe you if you do because i just still i'm gonna need to believe it okay i have to take a break from the host stories because speaking of all of this I have had two dreams in a row that you've been in my dreams. Okay. And one of them, we were at a live show. Are you ready for this? Okay, pause. Can, before you tell me, can I tell you that I've had two dreams in a row where Elise Myers was in my dream? Really? And, and one dream, we were friends. And the person that she brought with her that was like she kind of- She would be friends with us. She her, really would. Her tour person who was helping her out mm -hmm. was wearing our merch. <gasps> and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know. I feel like we are- so similar we really are we were, and we she's were. been in my dream twice but my first dream she was really mean to me and oh, i was no. like i did not see this coming elise <laughs> i really, <laughs> really didn't you tricked us <laughs> yeah you freaking tricked us but the second one she was fine uh okay anyway so let me just tell you this dream because it was fucking weird as fuck okay so we are doing a live show in my dream you last minute were like i can't fucking do it and i was like what and you're like i can't sorry i can't be there and i was like uh Okay, all right, so I'll get Corey to do it with me. Now, we are in a blow up, like, looks like a circus, <laughs> like a clown circus train car. Okay. okay. But it's blow up. And me and Corey have on headgear. We're in, like, suck and bop em robots, like, stuff. And the premise of the show was that we were going to, like, Beat WWE the shit. style. <laughs> Well, now I want to come. Show. I know. It's going to be so much fun. But, but hold on. So during, first thing that was going wrong was it was all outside. It was like at a carnival, it looked like. Okay. And the freaking 
wind was winding and <laughs> shit was happening and I was like, I think there's going to be a tornado. I think we might have to call it. Do you know that there's going to be a sequel to Twister? No, my God. But remember- it's coming out next summer. Anyway. Remember with my dreams, I have an yes. element. I have recurring tornado dreams. Same. And I talked to somebody and they told me it was because that means that like stress. And yes. that's like when your life feels chaotic. And I was like, well, that makes sense that that was <laughs> it. But I was trying to tell everybody. So I got on my, by the way, the microphones they gave us were like the little kid microphones. Oh, we I had love those. Where you can talk in the and echo. it's an echo. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we have. And for some reason, they have the little <laughs> string at the bottom. Yes. Like what that's about. So I'm like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm so sorry, but it looks like there might be a tornado in Clement weather. We might have to reschedule. And everyone starts booing. And I'm like, Boo. oh, fuck, fuck, Corey. Okay, all right. I guess if we Boo. blow. <laughs> so I was like, I guess if we blow away, that's just how, that's how she goes. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to do this for the people. And he was like, I, I'm good if you are. And I was like, great, me too. I'd love to beat the shit out of you in a tornado. <laughs> He's like, I've been fucking waiting for this moment. No, the ma the majority of it in my mind, I had already had it like scripted, so it was just us bumping up, like jumping up and down, and me going, yeah. "Oh my god, I almost shit my pants," <laughs> and then me going like, <laughs> just dumb shit like that. That I was like, "These jokes aren't gonna land. This is stupid. This None is like this what is happened." Good. I had a, I woke up in the middle of the night one night, and I wrote down like the idea for a show, and then I presented it to Sierra, and I was like, "Actually." This is this so is fucking, fucking stupid. stupid. <laughs> Why did I write this down? <laughs> yes. Except in my mind, I knew it was fucking stupid. And I was like, why the fuck am I performing this? I feel like an idiot. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but like, so the show is about to start. And we, I just have members of my family who are like, Sierra, I bought tickets. I'm coming to see your show. <sighs> which so they is your keep, nightmare. Which is my nightmare, number one. But also, they keep doing the worst shit, which is they're coming up to the car thing that we're in to talk to me about it to be like look i'm here this is so cool sierra this is so cool look at what you're doing and i'm like the show is fucking starting get to your fucking seats <laughs> like leave me the fuck <laughs> sit out there's a tornado and then my old neighbor best friend from back in the day oh. who was in jebica with me oh my god it's awful coming full sir her dad was there and he had like 16 pigeons <laughs> per did he she have a dad yes Okay, but he. She also had birds. We both had parakeets. So I don't know mm. if that was what. But I was like, "What? Where did you come from? And why are you? What is this <laughs> element of it?" That he's is just anyone standing there surprised? And the pigeons are like, boom, 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 <laughs> and everybody keeps looking at the pigeon man. And I was like, "That's just my neighbor, my old neighbor, ex best friend's dad. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Quit fucking look. The show's over here." <laughs> Uh, so is anyone shocked that as a middle schooler, Sierra was a bird person? <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about getting bullied. Can this bird fit in my house or what? <laughs> can this bird fit in my house? <laughs> oh, can this bird make me cool or no? <laughs> Turns out it didn't. It just shit all over my bedroom. <laughs> all right. So if you're ever thinking of having a bird and you're like, I'm not going to get their wings clipped because that's inhumane. I'm just going to let them fly around my house. That's fine. They will shit everywhere. <laughs> and that's a lesson I had to learn. The but not thing. Angus McBangus. Okay? No, he's a good boy. Yeah. Here we go. You ready? Any who's in. Oh my God. Do you guys like dream stuff? I know some people literally hate listening to other people's dreams i think they're fucking fascinating me because too, it's because like I'm getting a like, peek into your subconscious because what the fuck was that dream even about like the diary of your brain yeah like, I like it was it. so weird the whole thing just tells me of course i told Corey, and he's like sounds like you're stressed and i was like <laughs> you fucking think <laughs> i know yeah because i listened to somebody who was talking about they're like a dream interpreter and yep. they're like i don't really listen to the words you're telling me. I listen to the emotion behind it because that's usually oh, what the underlying okay. theme is in your life of why you're having that dream. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. And hmm. I'm like, oh, all of mine is have just been like insane stress dreams recently. Yeah, it would be like just recently was the first time that I started having stress dreams about the podcast, yeah. which is like crazy to me because yeah, it, it tells me that my brain is like registering this yeah. as like a main source of something in my life totally. where before i would have i would have stress dreams about being at weddings constantly oh i still have serving stress nightmares constantly yeah 
that I'm yeah, getting I just sat. over and over and I'm getting them drinks and then I go and turn around and there's more people and I'm like, oh my God, and getting them <laughs> drinks and then I'm like, there's more people and you just got sat at another table. I haven't gotten anybody's fucking order. I have 50 fucking people <laughs> and they're like, well, you do have another table and I'm like, fuck, okay, well, I'll get those people <laughs> drinks but then I do have to get somebody's order at some point and yeah. the whole dream is just me getting fucking <laughs> drinks over and over. <laughs> Mine is that it's I can't get my terrible. camera to work and the bride is walking down the aisle. Oh, because what do you do then? You're like, Either my Stop! my battery's dead or I don't have an SD card or for some reason the shutter just won't. Can you imagine just screaming, quit, no. <laughs> Go back. I object. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, what are your stress dreams? Leave oh, it in the comments. Us. What are your repetitive stress yeah, dreams? Yeah, because I want to know. Do you have tornado dreams? Because that's, I like have recurring tr- tornado dreams all the fucking time. Oh my time. God, actually. That another... or I'm at the top of a high building and the building falls over. Really? Yes, I don't Mine know Mine is that I can't get the gum out of my mouth. <laughs> I think I've talked about this before, but this happened in my Elise Myers dream where I was supposed to get up with the microphone and start talking and I couldn't get the gum out of my mouth and I just kept pulling and pulling and pulling. It was horrifying. That's so scary. I was like, I'm supposed to talk, but I've had that too, but like my teeth are falling out. Yeah. Because it turns out that's a real, that's a real fear. I have gum disease. (laughs) Sierra went to the dentist, everybody. (laughs) Yay. Hey, here's you. If you were scared to go to the dentist, you should go because you thought you, you might have gum disease. You might have early stages of gum disease. Hey, guess what? You might still, hey, but it's treatable, but and you'll live. Early periodontal gum disease. It turns <laughs> out, but it's fine. <laughs> By the way, I told Jerry, you just we'll get back into those stories. But hold on, you have to know because after I get back from the dentist, they sprung it on me. By the way, because yeah. they were like, "Hey, we have an opening in like ten minutes. Do you, you want to come? come in?" And I was supposed to go till next month, so I was like, "Actually, yes," because if I get it over with now i can't push it off anymore so i go in and they do the x-rays and they do all of the things and i get a cleaning and all of that stuff they tell me i have gum disease <laughs> so like whatever then i get home i tell Corey we go on a walk now Corey also <laughs> so, <laughs> turns out he just went like two weeks before me and we go past jerry's house on our walk this was the same walk where we saw the doppelganger and jerry the doppelganger the doppelganger <laughs> And Jerry finger. opens her windows and she's talking to us and I'm like, hey, I have gum disease. <laughs> <laughs> and Corey goes, yeah, it's going around bad. <laughs> I got it too. <laughs> which I like thought it's was contagious. Which I thought was so funny. He was like, yeah, it's going around bad. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. But anyways, it's nothing to be ashamed of. You can get it treated. I found it yeah. early. We found out. So we're getting treatment now and it's fine. It's just come to these. What are you going to do? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Back to those stories. Back to those stories. <laughs> okay. But I do have dreams where my teeth fall out. It's very scary. That yeah, one is like that. another stress dream that I have where I'm trying to put them back in and then I'm like, oh, more. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. It's like a bottomless pit. <gasps> yeah. I have something infuriating to tell you. Okay. And I've been wanting to tell you this forever. All right. Guess what? What? Chicken butt? <laughs> <laughs> no, you being stupid. Okay. <laughs> Sharks don't have skeletons. Well, yeah, of course. They have exoskeletons or something, right? <laughs> what? No, you're an idiot. <laughs> no. I don't think they had skeletons. You don't think. S- no, I've seen somebody cut into a shark before. Why? Shark fin soup. <laughs> you have <laughs> watched someone make shark fin soup? Yes. Absolutely not. I watch terrible documentaries because I want to save fish. In the ocean and what such not. And then they show you terrible things that I don't actually want to see, but I've seen them. So, and they're cutting the whole shark up. Do you know why they they slice right through it? Do you know why they don't have a skeleton? Well, no. I guess I don't know why either, but they have (laughs) cart, they're made of cartilage. Yes, I did know that. So we can't find, we can't make a skeleton because the cartilage breaks down. We actually don't know. How big megalodons were. <gasps> because because we don't have a skeleton. Oh my we God. only have their teeth. Ew. Also, there are certain sharks that have spiral corkscrew shaped eggs. I just saw a TikTok. Did you see the TikTok? Yes. Yes. I was yes. like, I learned so much more on TikTok than I ever did in high school. It made me, <laughs> it made me. They look like angry. jelly. Yeah. yeah. I love the color of it. I think it's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. But, yeah, but it did, it horrifying to think of it coming out of the shark It was pussy. like a California land shark or something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. I didn't know they laid eggs, and I certainly didn't know they looked like little <laughs> torpedoes. That's <laughs> fucking wild. I know. They're like, I know. sometimes they try to shoot them into some rocks. Torpussy. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you just, they just got to shoot it out right out of there. Listen, I'm upset about that. All right. Well, oh, speaking sorry, of all things this. that are is upsetting. Hold on. I have to pee. Fuck I just really you. wanted you to do the tor- 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 pussy. pussy again. Tor- pussy? Is yeah. that a tortoise? Tor- pussy? Torpedo pussy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Are you guys having a silly goofy time? We have Are a you silly enjoying goofy time? yourself? <laughs> gonna be a silly fucking goose. Go to patreon.com slash ladies and tangents. We'll never stop. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Another one. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Here we go. This one is called Tampons Up, Hose Down. <laughs> Are you ready? Always. What's up, ladies? Can't wait to share this doozy of a hose story. Pronouns are she, her. So picture it. Mid-90s. Oh, my God. That's a long time ago. I love it. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel no, old. No, we're, we're 90s children as well. But this was, I was in high school and deep into my 90s grunge. I thought you were saying that. I was like, no, the fuck you weren't. Okay, oh, sorry. We, no, no, no. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Deep into my, by the way, I'm so mad that I missed this because I feel like I'm reliving it now. But deep into my 90s grunge hose phase, mm. Doc Martens and baby doll dresses. Not the Doc Martens and the baby doll dresses, oh, but, but I would. I am in my grunge phase, I feel. I love a Doc Martin and a baby doll dress. Oh, it's so good. Um, There was this guy, we'll call him D because, well, obvious reasons. <laughs> hey. He was a few years older than me and we were basically fuck buddies and that was it. We would occasionally meet up and go to Pound Town and then go our separate ways. Mm-hmm. One time we decided to get together and go to his parents' house, but, but his younger brother, who I actually dated before, mm. was home and we needed a different place to go. So we hopped in his truck and drove out into the woods as if that was... Sorry. As if that was the immediate place people go to fuck. Why not? Anyways, he happened to have a blanket in his truck and spread it out on the ground. Oh my God, romance. Mm-hmm. We started screwing around a bit and I realized I still had a tampon in and needed to get rid of it fast and discreetly. So while we were making out, him on top, I reach down, pull out my tampon and proceed to lasso rope that bitch into the woods. <laughs> Oh my god, that's impressive as shit. Well, well, apparently my efforts to get the distance with my tampon toss really? were in vain because that bloody bitch caught a tree limb right above us and was dangling oh over my their god. heads. <laughs> oh no. At this point, I am mortified. Threatening us, yeah. looming above <laughs> our heads. I'm mortified and I hope he doesn't see it. I go heels to Jesus and grab his face so that he will keep looking at me and not up. He finishes and I manage to jump up and knock the tampon out of the tree. (laughs) Like a pinata. (laughs) Period pinata. (laughs) To this day, I don't think he saw it. Hope you enjoyed my horror story. Love you, ladies. You always keep me laughing. Keep doing you. Bye. Oh, my God. (laughs) That's so good. Dude, I would not... Again, sorry. The things we do as I feel like it's just like I don't know who a it collective. is. Collective. Yeah. But just like so that straight men get yes. off. I'm yes. like Ugh. aren't grossed out by something yes. our body naturally does. Yes. Yes. And so that they can fucking get off. Not yep. us. They don't right. ever care. Well, they right. didn't. I have someone that does now and it's fucking but it then it makes wonderful. me sad because i'm like how often was i around somebody that just didn't give a fuck they were yeah. like as long as i do then we had sex and yeah. it was good and, and i'm like and it's a you problem if yeah, you could figure don't. it out yep. sorry no so no. Bizarre. absolutely not anyways i love that story that's a good story do you want more you got one more you want to end on one, one more, more? Mm-hmm. I'll end up on this one. Okay. Because it is a ghosty, hoey, heartwarming story all oh, in wow. one. Okay, here we go. Hey, lady. <laughs> hey, lady. <lady. laughs> oh, my God. I hey, lady. <laughs> hey, lady. We decided to get a refill during our potty break, and that might have been a mistake. <laughs> it's definitely a mistake. I spilled. I spilled it. We're just having fun. We're trying to have a silly goofy time. <laughs> We're definitely not going anywhere for a while. No, 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 no. I'm going to need a ride. <laughs> I'm actually probably going to walk. Hey, ladies. My name is Ash, she, her, and this story hits the trifecta of spooky hoe and heartwarming, which spooky hoe warming, which I like to think describes me as a person. (laughs) This will probably end up being a little bit long, but I hope it's worth it. Okay. It's not that long. Oh, it's kind of long. It's fine. We'll get through it. Our tale begins in a creepy parking garage in Chicago that my friends like to use as a smoke spot for the devil's lettuce. 
Something about me is I was a major goody two-shoes, rarely drank, much less smoked. My friends were regular smokers, and eventually I decided to partake as a one-time thing. I'm a very, oh my god, I love you guys kind of drunk, so they were excited to see me elevated. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes. My best friend, we'll call her Anne, liked to ask deep thinking questions while engaging in this particular activity. Naturally. So I get nice and messed up, and she asks me if I think I have a soulmate. That is a fucking deep question to ask when someone's high. Jesus. Do you think you have a soulmate? Yes. Do you think you're with them? Yes. I do. <laughs> that was the most, I don't know. Yes. I want to say, I don't know if I believe that soulmates truly exist, but I would say that I don't think I could have picked a, a more for me person to be with. I was going to say, I don't know. Well, when you think soulmate, you think like romantic partner. Mm -hmm. And the, I don't necessarily think that you have one oh kind God, of do soulmate. Do you think we're soulmates? I do. I do. Too. I was gonna say that, but I was like, I don't know if she thinks. I don't think know if you feel the weird. same way. I don't know if you think that's weird. No, I do. I think yeah. that, like, as much as there are different facets of you as a human being, there would need to be different, like, people who fulfill those parts of you. You totally. know, I don't think you're like one person broken in half, and someone else is the other half. No, 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 no. I agree. Yeah. yeah. And the reason I think that way about you and about Corey is you both like things within you make me want to be a better person. And it's I a balance like kind of thing. Yeah. I feel like I'm striving to be the best version of myself yeah. when I'm Aww, around both of you. I love that. Oh, isn't that good? It's not that I don't want to be a better person because of you. Yeah. <laughs> it's that I, I recognize that some of the traits that I viewed as good are actually toxic to me and potentially others. And so you make me want to be a healthier totally person more balanced person you love that is that okay yeah i agree do you like those words i love it instead of better <laughs> no yeah no I, I, say, like, oh, no I like no i like me i'm sorry <laughs> no, no no i like better i okay. like better but i just want to make no, sure you don't think your about. words are you know, worse. Really don't my words suck <laughs> that's not what i yeah. mean <laughs> yeah no, no, it I does make it. me a better person yeah yeah but it's i think different. i'm better when i'm healthy and balanced <laughs> does that make sense yeah yeah. Right, okay, anyway, anyways, anyways, here we go. Us. Anyways, here's Wonderful. <laughs> okay, okay. So the soulmate question happens, yes, right? Yes, okay. Yes. So instead of giving a general are soulmates even real or not, which is what we just <laughs> <laughs> kind of answer like she was expecting, I just started talking without really thinking at all. I mean, like not a single thought in my head, but so many words. Mm. I was describing a specific person, how he looked, what city he lived in, what he did for work, his family, and our life together. I ended my huge monologue when Anne asked me what I think, when I think I'm going to meet him, and I responded with sooner than I think. That is such a high answer. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, we chalked it up to Ash as a lovey-dovey daydreamer and didn't think about it again for years. Flash forward to the summer of 2020. I swear this all connects. We're no longer in Chicago, but I'm living with Anne and her family in her hometown. The plan was to ride out COVID together, as we were still under the impression that it was only going to be a few months. Laugh out loud, <laughs> poor innocent past us. <laughs> yeah, we we all. Yeah. yeah. I was bored out of my mind and missing human connection, so I decided to have a cyber hoe phase. Disclaimer for young ears, absolutely terrible idea. <laughs> do Please don't do. do that. I downloaded Tinder and Bumble and went on my merry way. I mostly sought out validation and didn't end up getting too spicy with anyone except for one guy. We had a lot of to talk about and, and add to each other's stories and just had fun talking to each other. We chatted, only chatted, for about a month before he asked me on a date. I agreed and we met up to go bowling. It was actually super fun. I'm horrible at bowling. So he bowled backwards and left-handed the entire time to make me laugh and feel better and did in fact still win multiple times. At the end of the date, he walked me to my car and we ended up having the hottest makeout session of my life. Oh. I think it lasted like an hour and a half. There is nothing hotter than making out I to me. Love the making out. I am a fucking make out. I love making out. You want to make me into a water slide? Make, make out, out with me. me. That's how I feel. Make out with <laughs> That's me. That's how I feel. And Corey knows it. And so Lick when a boob <laughs> and put your tongue in my mouth. <laughs> when Corey's like, I'm not really in the mood, he'll just kiss me for a while. And then he knows, like, <laughs> that's go time. <laughs> You're mm -hmm. good to go. That's all I need. I was absolutely down to fuck. <laughs> and he said he wanted to leave. But he said he wanted to leave me wanting more. Oh. Yeah. Hot. I actually fucking... I was going to go rude. <laughs> no, I actually love that. Okay. That happened with one guy that I then think tricked me into 
being fucking obsessed with him. You know who this guy is? You just put your finger on his mu- your mouth and was like, shh. And then no. disappeared into a dark alley. <laughs> no, he did it to me. Did we had a it? super hot makeout session on his car. And then he was like, I'll see you later. And left. And I was like, well, now I have Were to. Were you still on his car? <laughs> he got in and drove away. I was in the parking lot just alone. <laughs> what parking lot? Was your car also there? Yeah. Oh, my God. I was going to say, he just left you in a parking lot? No, I didn't want. He wanted to take me out on a date. And he was I'm like, I'll come you pick wanting you up. more. Like a ride. <laughs> <laughs> He wanted to come pick me up, and I, at that point, didn't trust any men or anybody in general. Good okay. good thinking, actually, on my part. But so I was like, I'll meet you there. Okay. And so I did, but then I had to drive myself home all slippy slidey. <laughs> I slid over my say the hallway home. Oh, so annoying. <laughs> I was so hot. Sorry. Um... As frustrated as I was, son of a bitch, that was hot. The day after our date, I was leaving town for what turned out to be six weeks. I was seeking help for my eating disorder and was surprisingly open about this on the date. We decided to still talk while I was away, and he ended up being my biggest cheerleader and getting better. I know. Flash forward again. Stay with me. We're almost there. A couple years later, he and I have a four-month-old daughter. (gasps) Okay, so they get together. She's the light of my absolute life, and we're getting eloped. When I tell Anne that this guy and I are eloping. I'm sorry. I've never heard someone say getting eloped. Get, yeah. Is I've, that, is that I've, heard, getting I've heard getting married and yeah, eloping. eloping. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> we're getting eloped. <laughs> I know what you mean. Okay. I didn't even. I was like, yeah. But when I told Anne that this guy and I were eloping, so they say it there. Mm-hmm. Um, we were reminiscing about life and how much has changed and how quickly in such beautiful ways. In the midst of our tangents, Anne brings up the night in the parking garage when I ranted very specifically about who I thought my soulmate was. It turns out she was so fascinated by my answer that she got out her notes app <gasps> while I was tangenting. Every single detail, and I mean every one, matched my husband his Aww. name his hair his beard the silver chain he wears every day his profession even the exact city he lived in which i specifically named a suburb of a city that i had never even been to i even named multiple of his family members by name and their relationship to him and i was exactly fucking right what the fuck i named <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> I named things from his past that were happening to him at the exact same month that I predicted and manifested this man. I swear this is all true and it still blows our minds to this day. Less than a year before I met this guy and ended up in the same state as him by random chance. I wasn't even supposed to stay in that state. It was supposed to be a two week visit and I decided to just stay on a whim. I described him to the last detail. If anything, that to me confirms that he is my soulmate. He's a phenomenal husband and the most gentle caring father I've ever seen. For my first Mother's Day, he scored the internet to find a long-lost beloved toy from my childhood, along with a myriad of other thoughtful gifts. We've now been married almost a year, and our little baby is now a toddler creating glorious chaos. Thank you so much for taking the time to read this. I wish I could express to you, too, the impact you've had on my life. You've gotten me through the roughest parts of pregnancy, postpartum, and loneliness. You guys are fucking awesome, and I hope you're making time for yourself. Bye! That was so Isn't sweet. That's so good. Wow. So good, right? That's amazing. Yeah. What a beautiful, beautiful story. I love it. I was like, we got to end on a happy note. Yeah. And I feel like that's such a good one. Well, so. That is such a happy, mm-hmm. good note. Mm-hmm. He also, so emotional thinking that he scoured the internet for your childhood toy. Oh, I, I do you know how many times I get on eBay and I look for like a dog that reminds me of Mo? Yes, yes. I can't find it, dude. It's so like things like that make me. Those are gifts that are like, oh, you fucking thought about me. You went hard yeah. for this gift. That's hot. <laughs> that is hot. Could not be hotter. Anyway. Well, what a wonderful, wonderful time I've had with you this afternoon. Was that good for you? And with you, <laughs> whenever you're us. listening to this. <laughs> yes. Hi, bye, friend. Love, Earl. Love, <laughs> Earl. <laughs> Goodbye, uh, Earl. Uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs> By the way, me and my we son listened so to that much. song oh. while he was sorry while he was gonna have an appointment. It was playing in the waiting room. Mm. He was like, "I love this song," and I was like, "It's about killing a man." And he was like, "What the? Fuck? <laughs> it, it, it is." You said you liked it. Yeah, I, was like, I, mean. I was like, "I was just explaining you the song." I thought you would think it was cool. He was like, "This is inappropriate." And I was like, "Grow up, <laughs> whatever." You know, you want to hear inappropriate? You ever heard of the name Candace? <laughs> 
<laughs> sorry, I thought I heard that shut off. <laughs> Me too. Dude, anyway, Candace. um, all right. Anyways, sorry. We gotta everyone. go water our piece, Lily, because it's looking all sad. Oh my god, she's such a bitch. I know. <laughs> uh, we love you so much. We'll see you next week. All right. Hey, go to ladiesintangents.com if you want to get live show tickets. Mm-hmm. Um, Patreon.com slash ladiesintangents if you want more gooseness. silly goody times. <laughs> <laughs> silly <laughs> goofy times. Because I think we're having a live. Oh, you won't be there for it because Cause it happened two days ago, but you could probably still watch it. <gasps> it's on there. Okay. More content. So much. We love you so much. We'll see you next week. <laughs> All right. We're out. Goodbye. <laughs>